someone's having a bit of fun. Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm here in Blackpool. I am currently in the Blackpool South car park, just behind me. This is probably the biggest single car park in all of Blackpool. It's a council car park, of course. That busy road behind me is Yeadon Way. Sounds like a racetrack today, yeah. Yeadon Way, that comes in from the M55. Most of you will probably come in this way to Blackpool. We're about 10 minutes away from the Pleasure Beach here. Probably about 15 minutes away from the Sandcastle, the South Pier. This car park here will usually only get full during the fireworks or the air show or some big event like that. So if you come here, if you park in here, you're pretty sure to get a parking spot most days. It's currently a Sunday as I'm filming this. It's around about half past four. Things are quietening down. People are starting to leave, but there'll be also people coming in to see the illuminations because of course the illuminations are going to be shining right into well early 2025 so what i thought i'd do in this video is i'll show you a little bit around this area i'll take a look around the posh area for a change we're going to take a look at lytham road now i've shown lytham road before i've shown the the not so posh part of lytham road but on this video i want to show you the the, the posher side to, to lytham road which is that way towards the south so i'm going to do that in this video let's go and check it out shall we So I'm just here by the Blackpool South Station Railway Line. If anybody's used this station, can you remember when that building there had on the back, it had the blood of Jesus Christ will wash you of all your sins. They've rubbed it all off now. <laughs> it was connected to a church that's up this way on Lytham Road, yeah. So that's the station there, South Station. It used to have um, a building, of course. It used to have a... You know, it just had model railway in it as well. The building was right up there, yeah. Huge building, yeah. Long gone now, I'm afraid. Of course, the railway used to come into here. The railway used to come all the way along here, follow this road here. Long before my time, they got rid of it in, what, the mid-60s, wasn't it? I used to go to a school just over the back there, Palatine School, and we used to run on the embankment, because if you drive up there, out of Blackpool, you get onto the embankment, the, ra the old railway embankment, yeah. And many of you will probably recognise what I'm talking about, yeah? I never saw the railway though. Not that one anyway. Check out the raised platform here. It looks like there used to be another track coming in here, yeah? What do you reckon? If you're interested in the railway of Blackpool, you might want to follow Adventure Me because he's done videos about it. He's also done videos about Central Station. I'll put a link to his channel in the description, but... Uh, Welcome to Blackpool. We've actually got some of these plant pots with some decent plants in them here. Look, formiums. Check it out, yeah? But well, I'm not going to be going that way. I'll be heading the opposite way. Just over there we've got farm foods. That used to be... It used to be Aldi before farm foods. Uh, what was it before Aldi? I think it was a home base or something. I can't actually remember. But that takes you out to Waterloo Road that way there. But if you carry on this way, it takes you right into the town centre and that all new multi-storey car park that way there, yeah. But I'm going to be heading this way. I'll just show you some stuff around here and then I'll head out onto the streets and I'll show you some of the posher areas and the greener areas of Blackpool. If you're interested in parking here at the South Car Park, here are the prices. Freeze the screen now, what do you reckon? Other car parks are available, including private car parks. There's plenty around here. Just here we've got some big posters for the Pleasure Beach. Motor Experience, Hot Ice Show, the Big Blue Hotel, the UK's only Nickelodeon land, and this one over here, the Boulevard Hotel, the best luxury hotel in Northern Europe. Wow. Right, I've just come a bit closer to the road. I just want to show you the view to the east. It's double busy here, by the way. Sorry about the traffic noise. I can see some smoke in the distance over there. What's going on? Is that just a bonfire or is a house on fire over there? Look, look at that. Wow. Anyway, the fire station's just there. <laughs> that South Shore fire station right there, yeah? So they're not too far away. 
And uh, that building over there was my old school. Well, I don't recognise it these days. Palatine, yeah? Got quite a lot of sports fields to it. Anyway, here's a look at Eden Way. That way leads out of Blackpool. And just here we've got the SO garage. And that's got a Morrison's store connected to it. Just behind here, it's a Premier Inn. And it's got the, uh, the pub as well, but the pub has been closed. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Can you see Blackpool Tower? Anyway, here's the sign for the car park. Can you read that? Central multi-storey car park. All levels now open. Anyway, let's go and head over here and uh, see what's going on with this, this hotel. It's old news, by the way. It closed down a few months ago, so we'll just go and have a little look, shall we? See what's going on. So I'm just going around the back of the garage and uh, they've got these lockers here. Look, DPD, UPS, Royal Mail, Every, Amazon. They've got them everywhere, these now, haven't they? They seem to be the new thing, don't they? For, is it for receiving? I don't know, I've never used them. Can someone let me know in the comments what, what they're for? I think they're for receiving parcels, aren't they? But anyway, this is the, this is the Premier Inn here. Now, I can't remember. I think it was called the Yeadon Way. Yeah, it, yeah, it is. It's got the sign on. So there's the Premier in there. The hotel is still open, but I think they're turning this, what was a pub, I think they're turning it into a restaurant for the hotel. So they're just changing it around. So it's no longer a Brewer's Fair pub. And it's a pity, really, because I like this pub, actually. I've come here quite a few times, but uh, the Eden Way is no longer a pub. So I'm just going to head out of here now. I'll head on to uh, Lytham Road and I'm going to go south on Lytham Road. Like I say, Lytham Road is a really, really big road. It's a long road, runs all the way from the airport all the way up to Manchester Square. And it's a road of two halves because the part of the road that's on the airport side is actually quite leafy it's quite posh up market whereas the other end the north end um, north of Waterloo Road just up here is uh, anything but really it's nothing but concrete there's no greenery around and it's very 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 run down we'll just have one last look at this vast car park and uh, as you can see it's pretty empty at the moment like I say we're just coming up to tea time on a Sunday, middle of October. There's quite a lot of cars parked up this end, so if you park up this end, it's a bit quicker to get to the Pleasure Beach. All you have to do is just hop over that bridge there to the other side, and you're, well, you're at the Pleasure Beach, you're at the South Pier, and the Sandcastle. Okay, so I'll just head up these steps onto the bridge now, Lytham Road Bridge, and uh, I'll show you the view from the top. We can see the Pleasure Beach from here. You know, trams used to go over this bridge in the olden days. There's YouTube videos of trams going over this bridge. Can you believe it? Anyway, as we look that way, we get to see the tower just over the brow of the hill. If I look this way, over here, over this fence here, we should hopefully be able to see the Pleasure Beach. There you go, down the railway track there. And if you look down there, you can see the sandcastle, that road there, straight down to the sandcastle. But I'm heading this way. We're going south in this video. Yeah, there's quite a contrast as you come over onto this side. Um, bigger houses, more space, more greenery, I'll show you. The first street you come to on the left hand side is called Hampton Road. And if you go all the way down there, it takes you to the Hampton Road Social Club and Caravan Park. Let me know in the comments if anybody stayed there. I'll tell you what, this road is pretty busy. We've got a little bit of a transition area here. We've got some massive houses over here, but I think a lot of these will be flats here. As we go more this way, the houses get a little bit more posher look at that one there with the with the fancy roof there on the corner isn't it fancy that road there is called Mersey Road 
and that comes to a dead end because it goes down to the railway track. I want to show you this road here because uh, this is a very interesting road. It's called Windermere Road. Look at the houses now. I told you, didn't I? These are pretty big houses now. It's a bit of a swanky area, this, although saying that, the road could do with a bit of a repair job. But look at this road here. Look at the, look at the wind. So this is Windermere Road. Check it out. I said there was more space down this way. Look at this. We've got a central reservation here with a lawn. These properties here, mostly semi-detached. They're massive. Absolutely huge. Accrington brick as well. You're probably looking in the price bracket of 250 to 300,000 pounds for a house round here. And now what I'll do is I'll take a walk down this road here, shall we? And look, we've got trees. We've got trees, yes. Trees in Blackpool. Coniston Road. Pretty quiet round here as well. Yeah, very respectable. Until someone got the drill out. <laughs> so as I head down Coniston Road towards Watson Road, that's the road that goes underneath the Pleasure Beach, by the way. I forgot to mention Watson Road Park at the end of that other road we were just looking at there, Windermere Road. It takes you up to Watson Road Park. And that's where we're coming up to now. Oh, I've got a duck now for all these trees. So I've made it to Watson Road. This is looking east. This is Watson Road. I've been up here before, but it's a long time ago. And this leads you all the way to the Pleasure Beach, of course. And underneath that road over there is called Kingsway. And as you can see, they've got trees down there as well. It's a bit more tree-lined, this part of Blackpool, but I'm heading back up towards Lytham Road again, the junction just up here. Again, massive houses. Look at these houses. Massive. They keep the hedges trimmed round here as well. Can you see Blackpool Pleasure Beach just up there? Look. Check it out. We used to get so excited coming up here in the olden days because we used to live, well, not that far away really, about a mile away. We could walk there in about 25, 30 minutes. Yeah, back in the olden days when you should be able to just walk in. Remember the, the good old days of the Blackpool Pleasure Beach when you could just walk in there. You can't do that anymore. Anyway, I'm going to head further south on Lytham Road. I've just crossed the road because I wanted to show you something. That's looking back towards the north again where I started. There's a house over there, massive detached house. You see that there? That used to be the Grundy Art Gallery. You know the Grundy Art Gallery in town? Well, it used to be right there. It's now a private home. It's massive. Yeah. Look at these houses. Getting some big houses now. We've got some little ones here now talking about that. <laughs> Come from massive houses down to little, quaint little houses just over here, look. The ivory dressing room. I think that used to be a carpet shop. Yeah, a carpet shop, that. Sorry, what, I think that either could do with sorting out on that house there. But yeah, just over the road, we've got some quaint little... Uh, look at them. Wouldn't pay a fortune for those, would you? I don't think. There's a massive house just over there. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But we're just looking down this road here. This is called Woodstock. Gardens again. We're looking, we're looking almost straight down the, or straight up the lift hill, should I say, to the big one? Look at that there. Can you see? Straight up the lift hill there. You must get a bit of a noise down here, you know, when the rides are going. Just talking about noise from the Pleasure Beach. Uh, we used to live about a mile away, and we always used to hear the screams and the rides and everything. You know, from our house, which was right over there in the distance. And uh, you don't hear it now. Uh, there can't be anywhere near as many people going to the place of it's now as there was back then. But back then, yeah, you could hear that. You could hear all across Blackpool. You could hear the screams on the roller coasters. They all seem to have gone silent now.
Okay, now that road straight ahead is called Broadway and some more swanky properties down there. But check out this house on the corner. Look at that property there. That is actually called Manus House. It's like a racetrack down here, isn't it? Manus House, yeah, it's like a charity, like a retreat or something like that. Yeah, it's actually up for sale. Yeah, it's up for sale. Does anyone fancy buying? Manus House. Have a look, it's up with Duxbury's. But look at that, what a grand house. Just think in the olden days, so a family lived in that house there. Yeah, it's got quite extensive gardens to it as well. And next to that, we've got the Armfield Academy. This used to be Arnold's School, right here. Sorry about the traffic noise, it's double busy around here. But anyway, just thought I'd show you this road here. This is called Kenilworth Gardens. And that, that's not a T road, it doesn't come to an end. It goes down to a road which runs along the, the train tracks at the, uh, at the bottom. But uh, let's just look over here because all that is new over there. That used to be Arnold, yes, a fancy, swanky private school. That's where Chris Lowe from the Pet Shop Boys, he went there to Arnold. Yeah. There you go. And now it's the Armfield Academy. I think it's a comprehensive, it's not a private school, it's an academy. So that's like a new name for a comprehensive, isn't it? Yeah, I think the old building's just over there. Is that the old building there? It's got big sports fields at the back. Yeah. Massive sports fields. So there you go. This is where Arnold's school used to be. It merged with King Edward and Queen Mary in Lydham to become AKS. And this is what it is now, the Armfield Academy. Can you see Blackpool Tower? We're getting further away as we head south down Lydham Road. I've just crossed the road because I wanted to show you this here. Just over the road, we've got a pub here. That's, that was called the Spendike. It's a Green King pub, massive pub. Look at the size of that, the Spendike. I think it was called the Burlington before that because this road here is called Burlington Road. Don't see much greenery down there though. I think the greener side seems to be on, on this side of the road. So this road here that goes down the side, it's called, I don't know. <laughs> There's no road sign. I'll have to check the map, but just down here are some other posh streets with trees and grass verges. It is a swanky area of Blackpool around here. It's called Arnold Avenue, of course. I should have known that, shouldn't I? Uh, but they've got no street sign. Here's a little nosy into the extensive sports fields here at the Armfield Academy. And I just want to reiterate that I am filming this on a Sunday at tea time. So there's nobody at the school, just in case someone's thinking, oh, look, he's filming the school. You always get one, don't you? But anyway, we've got an, a road here that's called First Avenue. Look at that there, look. Some swanky properties down there. Yeah, so a lot of the streets that hang off this road are pretty posh. But I'm going to head back up to Lytham Road again and we'll carry on towards the south. So I think this building here might be the original Arnold School or, or part of it. I don't really know if anyone could let me know in the comments. Uh, this is just a nursery now by the look of it. It looks like a nursery with the, what's on the windows. So here's a bit of old and new. There's no date on that building. There's the new entrance there. The Armfield Academy. They've got a, a crest here, or whatever you want to call it. Named after Jimmy Armfield, of course. Uh, the football player. Got a bit of a pebbled wall going on here as well. We've got some trees as well. Got a tree, few trees. Not as many trees as what there probably used to be down here. 
in the olden days so there's been a lot more trees than there is now that road there is called Roseberry it's quite a big wide road that but yeah we're getting a few more trees now as we head further south so I'm now at Horncliffe Road I used to know a friend that lived down there years and years ago Horncliffe Road but as I turn around back towards Lytham Road again we've got a, a very fancy hotel just over there a boutique hotel probably the finest boutique hotel in all of Blackpool that is number one St Luke's number one St Luke's And that's just on St Luke's Road, of course. It's a big long road that as well. It goes right down to St Anne's Road all the way there. There's a, there's a house hiding behind those trees there. That looks like a pretty big house. But yeah, as you can see, the road is wider. There's more greenery. We've got trees. It's completely different to the other side of Lytham Road. When you go over the railway bridge, I've said it on a few videos in the past that there's no trees over that side. No trees, less greenery, a bit more depressing as well. Not the case up here. That road there is called Boscombe Road. And this is D Hollowell and son's funeral directors. Here's a look over the road, some more big properties. Quite a lot of those are flats again, I think here. What we said, there's a massive house. Is that one house? Or is it a semi? If that's one house, it's huge. So carry on. We're getting close now to the junction with Highfield Road. And now we've got Bournemouth Road. Seems to be a bit of a connection here, doesn't there? Bournemouth, Boscombe. Duck's Coffee Co. We've got a new convenience store just up here. It's called Go Local. This used to be San Marcos. You know that restaurant that's opened in town? On Topping Street. Well, that used to be there. And they actually moved here from Highfield Road, yeah. They actually moved there from Highfield Road, where we're just coming up to. Now they had a smaller, I think that became Winston's. Winston's um, on Highfield Road. I think that's what it became. I might be wrong. Just want to quickly show you this here. Look, we've got a bakery here. Really good bakery, this Bennett's Bakery. If you're down this part of Blackpool and you fancy a, a really nice pie or a Batewell tart or whatever, go to Bennett's. South Sea, Chinese takeaway. What's that place there? I think that used to be a little cafe, but They've taken the sign off. I think it had Latio on it. Another convenience store here. GK Mitchell's Butchers. We're now at the junction with Highfield Road. Here we are. So this is Highfield Road. That building on the corner there, that's an Italian restaurant. That used to be, I think it was a HSBC bank. And just on the left-hand corner there, it's a Farmer's Arms. Another Green King pub, but that one's still open. Now, just opposite to Highfield Road, going west, is Harrowside. And that takes you over the railway bridge. And when you go over there, you get to the promenade where the Blackpool Mirror Ball is, if you go straight up there. So that's Harrowside. There you go. And that was the junction with Highfield Road and Lytham Road and Harrowside. I'm going to carry on. I'm going to go all the way to, to the very end. It's a bit of a long form video, this one, isn't it? 
So once we go past Highfield Road, it changes again a bit now. We actually get uh, we actually get a few care homes and places like that along here. In fact, there's one just behind me. Park View. Oh, it's massive, that. Look at this. Oh, right, swanky. It's not a bad place to retire, is it? Park View. Care home with nursing. Let's turn you around. Look at this. Isn't it fancy? I wonder what that used to be in the olden days. You know, what was it originally? Was it... If that was someone's house, it's massive. But as you can see, it's even more leafy than ever now. We're just coming up to a park as well. Check out this fancy railing around this park. Yeah, yeah, we've got a park up this end, folks, yeah. Something they don't have on the other side of Lytham Road. This is called the Louis Horrocks Recreation Ground. And there's your fancy entrance there. I won't go in there because there's kids playing, but I'll just show you this here. Well, they have to put these signs up, don't they? No one authorised vehicles? I don't know if you could get... A, well, I suppose you could get a motorbike in there, couldn't you? No alcohol, no van, all the usual stuff, you know. You've got to tell people not to do that. I mean, look at this wall there, look. They've actually covered that up. They've plastered that over, look. In parts. Wow. OK, so I've just crossed back over the road to give you a view of that part there. And I just wanted to show you this pub here. We've got another Green King pub. It's the Dunes. Look at this. Isn't it fancy? The Dunes. That's a bit off the beaten track, isn't it? I actually did a video in there. Was it last year? I did a video in the Dunes. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Looks very fancy. They've got all the Halloween stuff in there but that's the dunes and I tell you what it's getting even more fancy as we get closer and closer to the end of this road Lytham Road you know when I went to that pub last year I got absolutely leathered <laughs> I did the quiz night in there and uh, yeah it wasn't pretty afterwards look at those houses over there God, we're getting to the really big houses now aren't we look at this wow I just want to show you this here. We've got a little place here called Stonycroft Place. Look, another green space here. Look, check it out. We've got a church down there. It's called the Parish Church of St. Mary. And look at these houses here. Aren't they quaint? Look at that. Aren't they fancy? Stonycroft. Just down there, I believe there's a school down there called Rosica School, a primary school. But here's a little look at uh, Stonycroft Place and here's a look at some quite fancy properties, detached properties over here. What we're looking at for these, we must be looking at close to a quarter of a, quarter, uh, half a million, sorry, half a million. Look at that one there, Elliot Booth for sale, check it out. Wonder how much that one's going for. It's got to be, got to be half a million at least, hasn't it? Come on. So as I head up this way, there's more care homes, things like that. That road there is called Dunes Avenue. Just over here, we've got the South Shore Health Centre. It used to be a hospital. Again, we've got that pebbled wall. Reminds me a bit of St Anne's, that, when you see that. This road here is called Roseway. It's only a little road. But they're all big swanky houses now. Around here. So there's a health centre for you. Just next to the health centre is a bit of waste ground there. I don't know what they're doing with that. Quite a lot of waste ground next to that. That would be prime land, that, for, for building on. That's how the health centre looks. It, like I said, it used to be a hospital. 
Now then, this is interesting. The sanctuary. Private road. Am I not allowed to go up there? Oh, interesting. What's this place here? Hmm. Freemasonry for women. Established 1913. Well, I never knew that. And that's just by this building here. Mm. Mysterious. And that's for sale. Check it out. What do you reckon? Yeah, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Freemasonry for women and... <laughs> That's a new one on me, that is. But anyway, you can check out that building there. Uh, Ray Strick, see how much it is, how much it's going for. This little road here is called Allendale. Wasn't there a guy in Neighbours called Allendale? And there's a property down there with Christy King that's uh, for sale if you want to check it out. Just down there, looks a bit like an alley. Looks a bit like an alleyway, doesn't it? Wow. OK, I'll give you one last look at Lytham Road. We're almost at the end there. And as you go that way, there's more care homes, a few more care homes, big houses. But I'm going to take a little walk off now. Let's have a look at Blackpool Tower again. Oh, it's miles away now. There you go. But I want to go down this road here. This is called Albany. Now we've got grass there. Just look at this. I said it was posh round here, didn't I? Check out these gate posts, aren't this wanky? So we're now coming down to another tree-lined street here. This is called Stony Hill Avenue. Check this out. Look at all, look at all the trees down here. Wow. You wouldn't think it was Blackpool, would you? Look at that there. Look at all the trees. You know, Blackpool is not known for its tree-lined streets, but we're seeing now that there are tree-lined streets in Blackpool. You know, we get quite a lot of people on the comments saying, ah, Blackpool's a, a you-know-what, you know what I mean. And uh, they only look at the, the bits of the promenade that are run down and, you know, just off the promenade, but I think Blackpool's just like anywhere else, really, just like anywhere else away from the tourist places and you come somewhere like this you see it's just like any other town yeah we've got trees we've got grass verges people live here they work it's not necessarily in the entertainment or in the tourist industry but uh, yeah there's a bit more to it than that as i head down here this is going to take us all the way to squires gate lane and uh, the airport as well. So I'm just leaving the grass verge and tree-lined Stony Hill Avenue. And I'm now coming out onto Squires Gate Lane. Straight ahead of us is a block of flats where the old uh, filed borough transport used to be. The blue buses, anyone remember the blue buses? That's where the, the depot used to be, right there, yeah? That's actually St Anne's. As we look over the road there, we're looking into St Anne's because this is the border here. That road down there is called Westgate. You see that road over there? Westgate, that takes you down. In a roundabout way, it takes you to the Blackpool FC training ground just down there. As I look back that way, that's the entrance to the airport, just beyond the little store. So, we've reached the end of Lytham Road. We had a look around all the little side streets as well that come off Lytham Road. We've ended up here at Squires Gate Lane. If you head up this way, it takes you to the promenade, of course. And a lot of you will be familiar with this part of Blackpool because it takes you to the beginning of the Blackpool Illuminations, just up here. Say the airport was over there, don't know. They've got a heliport as well, of course. That's the air ambulance just coming in to land there, yeah. Blackpool Airport. 
So there you go, that was a little look at the swanky streets of South Shore Blackpool. What do you reckon? We started off in Blackpool South Car Park and we made our way south along Lytham Road, a very different part of Lytham Road to the northern part. And check this out behind me, we've got a very swanky furniture store, Paul James Furniture, proper swanky in here, check it out if you're around this area. But anyway, I'm going to leave you there now. I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.